Hello and welcome to today's stream. Advent of day, Advent of Code day six. Sorry for being late. Um, I was uh, playing around with Chat GPT, making it tell me stories and the, about various things, like the creation of Haskell. But in the style of Tolkien. Anyway, it's good fun. Um, is it gonna replace people? Probably not. But I know that uh, it will empower individuals to do a lot more with a lot less, which is not a bad thing, I think. Anyway, we're gonna do day six. Uh, we've been doing doing it every day. So. Yeah bit later today but uh, maybe that's better I don't know maybe more people are available at this time so we'll see see how people like it uh, yesterday we did some uh, stacking and there was a lot of stacking actually but most of it was just parsing like we had to take this um, uh, this diagram here and kind of make it into something we could compute on uh, so we did a lot of parsing. And then the actual problem was just insert into an int map folder. Boom. But uh, that's how it is sometimes. Uh, the old videos are up on the YouTube. So if you want to see previous installments, uh, just see how people write code in Haskell. Feel free to do that. Uh, I think the 2020 edition, it was actually included in a paper, uh, which was like a study on how people write Haskell programs. So, we're doing good work here, folks. Anyway, let's get started with day six. Um, oh no, so we're, we're on our way to an expedition to get star fruits. Uh, we're picking up fruits along the way, but we're also getting them for solving tasks. I don't know, the lore is a bit thin, I feel, but that's okay. Right, so we're on our way to the fruit grove, star fruit grove. We get a handheld device and it's a communication system. Ah, maybe this is going to be like one of those, um, like kind of running things, right? That was a lot of fun uh, last time. Like, I think in 2020, we had, like, this computer, and we kept... Oh, maybe it was 2019. We had, like, a computer, and we kept having to self-modify the code and stuff. Anyway. So, let's make sure we do it in an extensible way today, right? Um, so, I've had a significant experience dealing with signal-based systems. Yeah, we did these. Huh. Yeah, this is the int code. My god, it was so much work. I feel like I did it uh, in 2019. I definitely did the int code stuff. Uh, funny. Let me see. This is 2021. Yeah, we. I mean, we did things in 2021. 2020, we didn't do everything. We managed to get quite far. Oh, but 2019, apparently not. Alright. Maybe I wasn't logged in at that point. Because I feel like I... Yeah, okay, I did it in 2017. Ah, I've been doing it, right? Anyway. We're doing 2022 now. Surely you'll have no problem. That's inspired by me. Okay. Broken. So lock onto their signal. The signal is a series of seemingly random characters that device we receive one at a time. Okay, we we need to detect the start of marker in the protocol being SPS. The start of a marker is indicated by a sequence of four characters that are all different. 
the device will send your subroutine a data stream buffer. Uh, your server needs to identify the first position with the four most recently received characters are all different. Specifically, it needs to report the number of characters from the beginning of the buffer to the end of the buffer and the first search for character marker. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, so, I think this will, like, we're doing like a sliding window here, right? Um, and so either it's in the first four, right? Or, um, uh, okay, let's see. At the first three characters we read, there haven't been enough characters received yet to find a marker. First time, Mark should first have the four characters received, making the most recent four characters MJQJ. Because J is repeated, this isn't a marker. The first time a marker appears is after the seventh character arrives. Once it does, the last four characters received are JPQM, which are all different. In this case, your subroutine should report the value seven because the first start of park packet marker is complete after seven characters have been processed. Okay, so we have a, an example. Uh, let's add it here. New file. Example. Okay, and these are actually many examples, but we'll run it on all the examples, huh? Okay. Um, okay, so this is going to be easy to parse because it's essentially just a character stream, right? Uh, read input file path to io list of stream read input today is just gonna be lines over read file read file ah but i need to do if map because it's doing dot read okay let's print out the example read input example Print GTAO day three six and day six dot chess day six. Oh, we didn't save the example. Okay, and we're not gonna have this line actually. All right, we have the uh, Arrays of strings. Okay. Yeah, let me, I should probably close others. Now let's have the example right here. Okay, and I want these six. Yeah. All right. So we have to check. Um, First of all, we have to check how many there are. Okay, so... Wait, okay, so... Because J... So, value 7, because the first startup program completed after 7 characters have been processed. Okay. Let's see. Um, task 1 takes a string and returns an int. Task one. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna process the initial four first, right? So C one, C two, C three, C four, and then the rest equals. Um, Okay, let's actually produce the first, yeah, C3, C4. Okay, so then we just say, and let's import, uh, import data.set. Okay, let's actually make this a bit different. In equals task one prime. Uh, uh, 
zero in uh where task one prime a, a n in okay then we actually match on them equals okay now we're just gonna be we're gonna do this crazy stupid right um so this was position it actually starts at position four i think okay so let's see here uh where a s equals uh, let's import qualified data qualified data qualified as set let's say s is set dot from list c1 1 c2 c3 c4 uh so uh we say if length s equals four so the size of the set is four let's see set dot size equals four then uh, we return n so um uh, basically if we have four unique characters otherwise we do task one prime n plus one uh, c2 c3 c4 uh, r we 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 you know okay and now let's write a uh, task one prime error end of input without marker i think this will work let me see print task one uh print a map task one this might crash seven five six ten eleven Seven, five, six, ten, eleven. Okay. So ooh, that's a chunky boy. Um, maybe we're doing it super slow. I mean, so we are doing it super slow. Well, input. Okay, let's see. Because we should actually just kind of remove from the set, add to the set. Um. So what do we know here? Okay, so yeah, okay. Let's just see how how slow this is. I because I don't think it would be that slow. If it is super slow, we change it. Actually, probably will be slow for task two. I don't know what task two is, but uh, um, but it usually gets slow. Okay, let's see if sixteen twenty five is good. All right, we got the first one. Now let's see if our uh, being lazy actually didn't work out. A start, it's currently detecting packets, but still isn't working. So like other little messages. Oh my God. Except it consists of 14 distinct characters rather than four. Ah. Now, 14, we're not going to do that, right? Okay, now, let's see. Now, let's uh, rewrite this in a non-lazy way. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we have the uh, list. And then this is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna start off at zero. And this is gonna start off at fourteen. Okay. Um, we are gonna say case uh, length set dot from 
wait, I had sets outside, so yeah. So this set here. Okay, let's say Lee uh, at So what we should be doing is like not constructing the set every time, right? We should be like adding the last one to the set. And taking the first one out of the set and maybe the last one. Okay, let's 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 not be so lazy. Let's say uh, let's try and uh, let's actually yeah okay so let's input at cr i c and c s okay now let's say so we start off with um Because we need to keep, kind of keep track of the order of the letters. So. Do, do, do. Okay, let me... Uh, let's just see... Yeah, okay. Okay, where... That's equals take... 14... M. What about a s comma r equals take 14 so we just say a split at 14 let me just see gti uh, split at 3 1 2 3 4 5 yeah that takes 3 okay okay so this is gonna be the start and then we take we take 14 of them uh, let's see, task, okay, so task one, All right, 14 in equals, uh, where, uh, let's call this Lee, and then this is Lee, um, uh, what am I trying to do? Okay. Sorry for being a bit confusing. I'm trying to kind of keep, so we're gonna keep the track of the list. It's gonna be like of length 14, and then we're always popping off the first one and uh, and adding the latest one. Okay, so let's actually add, start at 13 here. And then uh, we are gonna start with, uh, we're gonna start with a set dot from, list s and we're gonna start at we're gonna take 13 of them and we're gonna give it the rest of the list and this is imp okay uh okay task one prime and a uh, uh, this is actually not gonna be s s uh, set out from list s Okay, so here we have the uh, uh, inset uh, inset chars. We have the cur set, and we have the next character and the rest of the characters equals. Okay, so uh, PC PCS. Previous characters, previous character set. Okay. Now, we have a set of 13. Okay, so if uh, C uh, set dot member cur set. Now, let's do it like this. Case, if the C is the member, so, so adding the 14th character in. Um, if it is a member, um, equals, then uh, we return. Then we when we we, we return uh, n plus one. Otherwise, uh, 
that simply consists of 14 distinct characters. Uh, so this is actually going to be a, a not set member, right? Uh, case a not so if, if it's not in the set, then we return n plus one. Okay. So otherwise it ah otherwise it's in the set. Um. Otherwise, it's a. Otherwise, it's in the set. Um. So we. Um, I think we're doing something wrong here, but let's see. Otherwise, it's in the set, so we do task one prime, and plus one. Uh, we do PCS. Uh, and we append. C to it, BCS plus plus C, and then cur set delete. Okay, how is data set? Uh, data set. How do I uh, remove from a set? Dude, dude, how's everyone doing? Is this add code hard to solve? Um, I would say that it's harder to solve than the ones we've seen so far. Uh, let me see, set dot, in the sense that like the input is actually, like it, you don't have to parse it all, right? Uh, but uh, uh, we're actually having to do some work on the on the thing okay i think this won't work uh, but um, but i want to see what it does 14 14 15 14 15 yeah Okay, so we're doing something wrong. So I, first I was thinking like, if we put it in the set. Do we actually have to, we can just keep putting in the set, right? Uh, I think we can just keep putting in the set. Um, I think, we, yeah, let me just check. Okay, we don't need any of these. Task N. Curse set. Uh, now, hey, so. Uh, and then we have the C and CS. Okay, uh, if set that size. Never the rest. Set that size cur set equals 14 then uh, then we return n otherwise that's one prime and cur set set dot insert uh, wait it's insert yeah yeah oh. uh, uh, C set dot insert cur set uh, CS right because we want to see 14 distinct characters uh, but we probably this probably won't work because we haven't uh, we don't delete anything out of it uh, oh no so we need to do n plus one here. Nineteen twenty three, twenty twenty eight, twenty five. Nineteen twenty three, twenty three, twenty nine, twenty six. Okay, it works for the example, but it doesn't work for anything else. Uh, reduce this music. 
Mm. Yeah, we still we need to uh, we need to remove the ones uh, that we previously added. Okay, so if the set of the size of the set is uh, fourteen, then we return n. Otherwise, uh, we insert this one uh, and then a PC set dot delete dollar. Uh, So now we, we kind of, we, we remove that, ah. Oh. So we are keep we keep adding to the set. So the, definitely, uh, it's just like the CS is. Uh, task one prime and yeah, so bing bang bang empty equals a uh, uh, error end of set. Okay, end of set is not a good message, actually, uh, but, uh, okay, so, the set of the current set never, okay, I think I might need to, uh, where, per set prime equals, Okay, set size scores at prime, and then uh, yeah. So we like uh, we insert and then check. Oh, we still get the end of the set. today um have you tried uh, have you guys tried chat gpt that uh because it's uh it's a lot of fun to play around with actually <sighs> maybe i just i don't need the uh, Maybe I, I don't need the. Let's just do it the uh, bad way, okay? Uh, PC, PC, yes. Let's actually use uh, data.sequence here, Haskell. So then we can uh, add to the beginning and end, and it's quite nice actually. Um, okay, so let me see. No sets. Import data. Um, sequence as seek okay um now uh so this is like a data structure that's it's not just a list you can always like operate on the front but for this one you can actually operate on uh, both ends efficiently okay so uh we don't do seek set from that. We do um, seek dot from list uh, s, and then we just we don't need the seek for the or uh, for the rest. 
Ah, yeah, okay. So here we have a N, so we have PC, and it's this funny operator, right? A saying, okay, this is the front, right? Okay, so, so we do, uh, this is the front of the sequence, and then this is the rest. Uh, okay, so case, ah, that's cool, and, okay, sequence, okay, so, case, uh, member, 11, ding, 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 ding. I feel like we're doing uh, too much here. So here we will be. Let's not. Let's not overcomplicate things. Huh? We just take the first S, and then we just have PCS here, and then we say uh, R. Fourteen, seventeen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. That's not at all what we want. Okay, fourteen distinct characters rather than four. So if we were doing this with arrays, right, we could just have like indexes and like move them around, but uh, we don't. Okay, so uh, we end too early, right? So if uh, if the if, if the new one is not element of the set okay I think we let's go back to the so the thing is now we check but we don't check if all of them are distinct right so let's actually have the curse set here set that from this S. So we have the curse set here. Curse set. Um, what are you complaining about? Ah, 
and it's supposed to be uh, no, yes. Okay, so we have a curse set. So we actually check a set that size curse set. What do you and then the new curse set is a where PC is prime equals PC is plus plus R. And now a cursed prime equals a a. Yeah, so this is what we were doing before, right? I think maybe just the set dot insert a cursed. Okay, so I, and I want to delete the uh, ah. So yeah, so okay, I think we were like deleting before we were adding. So now I want to I want to insert first. I want to delete and then I want to add because I think before like we would delete kind of twice, right? Uh, PC. Ah, uh, but also, yeah, 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 yeah. So the thing is that we were deleting, but like maybe we'd seen it twice, right? Set dot from list. Or set. Uh, so we're actually, we're not gonna do any clever things here. What is wrong here now? Um, good match typing. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. PC is prime. All right, 19, 23, 23, 29, 26. Okay, so the problem was that we were going to be kind of adding and deleting from the set. The thing is, like, if we'd seen a character, like, four times in the set, like, the deletion of that character would delete it, like, a lot of times, right? So this one works. Uh, um, and it seems like it was quite fast. User in time. Two to fifty. Okay. I mean, yeah. It took. Uh, we're using all the commands here. It took uh, less than yeah, fifteen milliseconds. So that's just kind of cheatsy boot time. Let's see. All right. Ah, uh, that did take us longer than usual, right? But we did it. Um, yeah. So I think like we were thinking about it wrong, right? We were gonna we were we, we wanted to have this current set, and then we wanted to uh, we were I wanted to kind of add to it and delete from it, right? But uh, yeah, we should have been using like, something called a multi-set, right? which is also known as a bag. Uh, so then you, yeah, it's a set, but, uh, so you kind of insert and delete into it, but it doesn't have an order. And at that point, it's also, it's also, we could have just been looking at the uh, PCS prime, right? Ah, uh, okay. Well, we did it. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's 15 milliseconds, right? So 
that we could probably do this in a more optimal way, but it's, uh, it just seems fine, right? Good example, keep in it, AM, basics, keep push. All right, uh, that's it for today. We did have some viewers uh, sometime. I think uh, uh, some of my biggest fans are in the US, uh, very busy right now. So there was less chatting than normal, I think. But I think I need to, because uh, I put it on Twitter, right? But I think like, like last year I put it sometimes on uh, like the Icelandic programmers group and then I would get people. Anyway. But also we should be on time, right? But uh, yeah, that was it for today. Um, uh, you find me uh, uh, playing chess after this. Or actually, yeah, probably have to review some homework from students. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. And uh, see you tomorrow for day seven. But, you know, we've been doing this for almost a week now. So I think... You know, we're doing quite well. Alright, but thank you for today. And...